Hello everyone and welcome to day 12 squeaky clean of Love Island the Game season 2. This part is on the list. It's called a little less conversation, a little more action please. Is romance on the cards or are you bluffing for another way? Let's find out shall we? Welcome back to Love Island. The place where islanders who recouple together stay together. I'm looking at you Emma and Henrik. Tonight, Ibrahim and Bobby let the islanders in on their plan. So we're pranking Jacob then. Way to spoil the surprise, Gary. That's okay, I've got one more thing up my sleeve. But first, it's a brand new day in the villa and Gary's a big gorilla. I'm not a gorilla. You toes are, look at you. You sit up in bed and glance at Gary, looking himself over. You're so big, not to mention hairy. Lottie grins in amusement as she snuggles into Gary's side. Chelsea's calling Gary a gorilla, a sexy gorilla. I'll tell you that. Lottie gives him a light, half-playful tap on the wrist. She's not wrong, Big G. It's like you've got a full-body halo going on. A fabalo. Did you just try and squash full-body halo together in one word? Sure I did. Mate, that should be one of our words. Words? Is this like that time they were going on about sportswear and wouldn't tell me what it was about? Fabalo? Nah. Why not? I don't know, it's lacking something. A certain je ne sais quoi. Panache. Now that could work. What's going on, lads? You've lost me. Chelsea breaks out into cackling laughter and claps her hands. Oh, well, I know, I know. <laughs> They're making up words to prank the new island. You stop short, frowning. You look around. Jacob is nowhere to be seen and a few of the other beds are empty too. Noah's still asleep, but the place beside him is empty. Where's Hope? So we're pranking Jacob then. Oh my days, yes, yes, yes. The others want to prank Jacob. Poor Jacob. <laughs> let's say, let's do it. Yeah, I reckon he's got it coming. Did you guys know he irons his socks? That's a bit much. It's not just too much. That's bizarre. So what's this word we're using then? Ibrahim and Bobby exchange a look. If we tell you guys, you got to promise not to ruin it. Bobby puts on a dramatic voice. You must swear it. Swear it on. The valor of Violet Man. Bobby shoots him an incredulous look. Yeah, whatever he just said. Do you swear? I need to swear. I pledge my silence to the violent man. <laughs> Ibrahim frowns. It's actually violent man, but close enough. Around you, the other islanders make their promises. I'm in. It'd be nice not to be on the receiving end this time. Ugh, yeah, count me in. Solid. Here's the idea. We have a random word that we'll all use around Jacob as if it's real. Hopefully he'll take the bait and start saying it. Last time it was sportswear. We had Henrik saying it for days. Henrik rolls his eyes. You guys got a word already? So I've actually been thinking about this for a little while. You have? I thought you were just in a mood. Nah, that's just my thinking of the future face. I reckon I've got a few good contenders. He holds up three fingers and holds them down one by one. Homebrew, al dente, and ding. Homebrew, al dente, and ding? I think maybe al dente, but homebrew could also work. You know how people who homebrew always want to tell you about it because they think... Because they think it makes them look cool, but actually it's really try hard. So if someone thinks they're being cool, but they're actually being a bit of a knob, you'd be like, getting a bit homebrew there, mate. Okay, and al dente? You know when pasta's cooked just right. Not too hard, not too soft. Like the little bear's porridge in the Goldilocks story. Not too hot, not too cold. Not too extra, not too chill. It's spot on, right? So if something's perfect, you'd be like, al dente, mate. Okay, well, what about ding then? What's sexier? Then a notification. Um, I'll help you out. The answer is nothing. Ding is like when you hear that notification sound come through a phone. And when you hear it, you can't ignore it. You have to check your phone. So if someone is irresistibly sexy, you'd be like, mate, she's ding. It's also just a satisfying sound. Like, ding. Am I right or am I right? What kind of monsters are just going around without their phones on silent? Very fair point, Marisol. Except like in here, obviously and silence the sexiness of the ding. Now I think I know who the real monster is. He winks at her. Okay, I get it. Got a favorite. The boys want me to choose the word we'll be using to prank Jacob. I think maybe after all of that, I think I like ding the least. It's between homebrew and al dente. I think I'm gonna go homebrew. Gut feels, you know? Yeah, that's bants. Homebrew, homebrew, homebrew. But remember guys, top secret. So don't get all homebrew, yeah? I better start getting ready for my day. We're in the dressing room and we're deciding what our look is for today. I haven't worn this one in a hot minute. Let's go for that. This outfit is gold. That outfit makes my eyes pop. Not literally. Phrases are hard. You look good. Thanks, Henrik. He stretches, smiling at you. 
Let's see what today holds in store. Okie dokie. You're in the dressing room touching up your makeup when you hear two familiar voices on the roof terrace. Is that Noah? And Priya? You stop in your tracks trying to hear. This is pretty big, babes. Are you absolutely sure that's how you feel? I don't want to get messed around here. Well, it's not like I've gone off hope or anything. I just wonder sometimes if I'd be happier with you. Oh my gosh. Is Noah admitting he has feelings for Priya? You look around. The coast is clear. No one's coming up here anytime soon, and I'll hear Noah and Priya if they start making a move. Should I listen in? Yes. You settle into a spot where you can both... You settle into a spot where you can hear them both clearly. I don't know. I've thought about picking you, but I want to be sure before I commit to something like that. But Noah pauses. Well, I still have feelings for Hope, obviously. I think she's an incredible woman. Clearly she wants us to work, but sometimes she's so forceful about it, it pushes me away, you know? I've got to be honest, I'm not keen on the way some of the others look at her either. Like Jacob. Henrik too, actually. Look, you know I've not exactly been flying the flag for Team Nope. But do you think she'd really choose one of them over you? There's a pause. Nah, no way. But it might not be the girl's choice. Which means? I don't know. It's like I said. I like her, but maybe I could like someone else more. Priya giggles. It sounds like Noah and Priya might start cracking on. Poor Hope. There's going to be hell to pay if this gets loose. Are you going to talk to Hope? Definitely, I just don't know when yet. Can't leave it too late, but I'm also not ready right now either. I'll think about it. There's a shuffling sound followed by approaching footsteps. They're coming back inside. Where should I hide? Uh, behind the door. It had a time where I was running out of time, I'm sorry. You scurry over to the door and flatten yourself against the wall. It opens, hiding you. You take a deep breath and hold it. Thankfully, the door doesn't crush you. Was someone just in here? I thought I heard a noise. There's a screech as she checks inside the cupboard, pushing apart the hangers. Noah's standing inches away from you. Who's going to be hiding in here? I don't know, but... Through the gap, you watch her pick up the brush you were using and examine it. Hmm, let's go. She puts it down and they wander out. Phew, that was close. That was a lot to take in. Hope's going to be livid when it all comes out. I've been loyal to her so far. Maybe I should try and keep it up. Who should, what should I do? Tell Hope or stay out of it. I kind of feel like this is something I shouldn't have overheard, so... I'm gonna stay out of it. This is the right decision. I don't think it's a good idea to stay out of it, but I also don't think it's our place to get into it, if that makes any kind of sense. You cross the garden towards the beanbags. I'm not about drama today, but I'm about topping up that Dan. Hey, Em. Henrik runs up to you, grinning and waving. You glance mournfully at the beanbags. Henrik wants my attention. Hey, not interrupting anything, am I? You no, no. Talking to you is more important. <laughs> His face lights up. Beanbags? You have my attention. He leads you over to the beanbags. Henry lounges in the beanbag beside you. How many times in like a minute can I say beanbag? Because I said it a lot just then. That was a lot of beanbags. Ah, sun, pool and astroturf. That's the good life. Like sun, sea and sand? The exact same. Though my version doesn't have quite the same ring to it, does it? He stretches out, flexing his stomach muscles. Have you ever thought about sunflowers? What about them? Like, I'm not that short, right? But I see a sunflower and I'm like, damn son, that sunflower is bigger than I am. That flower is winning and I'm losing. Okay, seems like Henrik has a bit of a complex about sunflowers. You are so not ready to hear about trees. Henrik laughs. You cracked me right up. There's a pause. For a moment, he looks like he might say something else. He clamps his mouth shut, frowning, and then changes his expression to a grin. Hey, have you ever thought about... He's cut off by the sound of your phone. That's me. Guys, I've got a text! The other islanders come rushing over, crowding round to take a peek at your screen. Islanders, get ready to find out who scrubs up and who's ready to dish the dirt. Time for today's challenge. Hashtag get those skeletons out. Hashtag scrub up nicely. Mate, that's homebrew. He did it! Well, 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 Priya and Noah. Whatever will Hope say. Spoiler alert, it's not homebrew. Coming up. Skeletons come out of the closet. It happened a few years ago, all right? And the Noah drama takes a new turn. Can we not make this bigger than it is? Some might call the situation hopeless. Come on, like I was gonna let that one drop. Tune in next time for more on Love Island. What are we thinking so far? Because I kind of think that was dodgy territory dodgy territory. I don't know if it was the right thing to not tell Hope. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. But I kind of feel like we're at a stage in our in our journey where the drama is getting a bit too much. And I also really isn't my business. They didn't know I was there. I don't need to say anything. They'll never know that I was in that position. So why should I make it out like I do know more than I'm letting on? You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this part. And we are very swiftly 
Getting on to part two. Here we go. Just like that, we're on to part two. This is coming clean. Things are getting messy and secrets are spilled in the villa. Previously on Love Island. Emma overheard something she shouldn't have. Well, it's not like I've gone off hope or anything. And our islanders came up with some lit new lingo. All on their own. Homebrew, homebrew, homebrew. You're using it wrong, Chelsea. Tonight, a new challenge unearths new secrets. Now this is interesting. Hemorrhage's got really nice nipples. Is that something weird to say? And Noah goes way beyond messing things up. You're way beyond messing things up, babe. Coming clean. But first, the producers have been getting their hands dirty, digging up some saucy secrets about the Islanders. They even spoke to Gary's nan. Lovely lady. So grab your popcorn because it's time to drag some skeletons out of closets, kicking and screaming. You arrive at the challenge stage with the other Islanders. Before you are two tanks with slides leading into them, one filled with mud, the other with soapy water and sponges. There are also two piles of envelopes, one marked girls and one marked boys. What's all this? Jacob leans gingerly over the mud tank, peering inside. He wrinkles his nose. That's homebrew, that is. You're still using it wrong, mate. Mud ain't homebrew. Jacob blushes slightly but keeps his face composed. Yeah, I know that. I was just using it ironically like. You can't be ironic about homebrew. Raheem and Bobby are loving this new homebrew thing. Irony is so homebrew, mates. It's like when people pass off bad things as good because they're ironic. No, they're not. You're just homebrew. Jacob says nothing. He nods along as though he understands. A phone buzzes. Guys, I got a text! You join the others gathering around Priya, craning to see her screen. Islanders, in today's challenge, you need to come clean. In front of you are two piles of envelopes containing secrets about your fellow Islanders. One for the girls and one for the boys. If you choose to open an envelope and read a secret, you'll have to slide in the mud. If you resist the temptation and keep it sealed, you'll be washed clean by the person whose secret remains inside. This challenge. Hashtag bring it on. Let's hashtag nail this challenge. Woo, best challenge ever. You line up facing the boys. Who's going first? Henrik's phone buzzes. Me, I guess. He steps forward and takes an envelope from the pile. Lottie's written on the side. Now this is interesting. Remember, if you open it, you'll have less chance of winning the challenge. And you have to get covered in mud. Just saying. Henrik grins and tears open the envelope without further hesitation. He reads it aloud. Titanic, Little Women and the Secret Garden make Lottie cry every time. Hashtag cry me in Atlantic Ocean. Hashtag works every time. Titanic little women in the secret garden make Lottie cry. I wouldn't have guessed. Nah, Lottie's a massive softie when she gets to know her. Lottie marks him with a look. Don't act like you wouldn't cry too if you'd seen them. That's fair. I'll throw my hands up and say I've never seen any of those films. When they're lowering her into the lifeboat and... Her voice becomes a squeak. And Jack realises she's gonna die. But then Rose. Rose jumps and... She covers her mouth as the tears start rolling. It's okay, babe. We know the story. But don't you think that Jack could have, like, totally survived if she had just let him too soon? Yep, sorry. They could have, though. Lottie regains her composure, dabbing at her eyes. Looks like you're the first on the slide, Henrik. Looks like I am. He clambers up the ladder and climbs in without hesitation. Geronimo! I never quite got why people say that when they jump off things. Or, like, slide into them. The mug covers Henrik completely. He windmills his arms, sending splatters of mud flying everywhere. Yuck. Come on in, guys. The mud's warm. He returns to his place in the line, leaving a trail of muddy footprints on the deck. Another phone beeps. This time, it's yours. My turn! You step forward and pick up an envelope with Gary's name on it. This has a secret about Gary inside. If I open it, I have to get covered in mud, which means I'll have less chance of winning the challenge. Plus, it will totally ruin my outfit. I did pick a good day to wear white, didn't I? But we're already at a disadvantage now, since Henrik opened Lottie's secret, so... It might not matter either way. Should I read Gary's secret? Yeah! You tear open the envelope and read the content. It's no secret that Gary loves his nan, but you know what he won't tell you? The time his mate switched her name in his phone to a girl he'd been chatting with on Tinder. Hashtag it's in the family. Hashtag blood is thicker than water. Mate, that's savage. Did you like text her and stuff? Yep. But I figured it out pretty quick when she replied. It was something like, wash your mouth out with soup or no way to speak to your nan. Wait, did you just say soup? You mean soap, right? Like the thing you would usually use to wash things with? I think you're underestimating my nan's soup. Gary texted his nan thinking it was a girl on Tinder after his mate switched his name on his phone. Your mates sound hilarious. I wish I thought to prank someone like that. Really? I'd be fuming if one of my girls did that to me. Did you get in trouble, Gary? A whole summer's worth of chores and driving her to bingo. Beside you, Marisol clears her throat. Looks like Em's going in the mud. Oh yeah, that part. Fine. You walk over to the mud tank and climb the ladder. 
I'm going to go as fast as possible, get it out the way. You push yourself off and arrive with a big splash, sending mud flying. Woo! Oh my god, we're covered. Go, M! Now I've got mud on my clothes. I've been covered in worse. Probably not a story for today. Hopefully. Oh my god. You return to your place in line, dripping with brown muck. Hope's phone goes off. Me? She steps forward and takes an envelope from the pile bearing Noah's name. She opens it and reads it aloud. Noah misread the situation when he turned up at the Reading Festival with a backpack full of library books. Hashtag read the room. Hashtag reading at Reading. So you actually thought Reading Festival was a festival about reading. And you what, like sat there with a book the whole time? It actually took off. People started reading next to me, then more of them, until eventually someone posted a picture of us on social media. Hashtag reading at Reading trended for weeks. You know, I actually think I saw that. Noah took Reading Festival literally, brought a bunch of books along and started an internet sensation. That's really sweet. Hope nods in agreement. The sweetest. But you know what this means, right, Hope? Slidey time! Slidey time! Hope feigns a dramatic sigh, wanders over to the mud tank, climbs the ladder and slides in. Noah runs over, plunges his hands into the mud and splashes more of it on her chest and shoulders. You melt. I'm gonna get you for that. She clambers out and envelops Noah in a muddy hug cackling as she covers him. Ugh, goals. Maybe not the mud part though. They're in their own little world. Kind of reminds me what they were like back at the start. I wonder how long it will last. A phone buzzes and Marisol grabs an envelope. The side rings Henrik. I never did mind getting my hands dirty. It's like they say, knowledge is the real prize. She opens it with a flourish, her eyes trained on his. Henrik once saved a dog from a frozen lake and drove it all the way to the nearest animal shelter only to find out it was a wolf. <laughs> Hashtag risky acts of kindness. Hashtag big bad wolf. I thought at the time it was some kind of husky. I miss my paparino. You're lucky to be alive. Yeah, that was my first thought too when I found out. But paparino had more things to occupy himself with than eating me. Emmerich turns his attention back to Marisol. Ready to get down and dirty, Marisol, as if you need to ask. Marisol climbs a ladder and slides down into the mud. It's not actually too bad. Henrik's phone buzzes. He picks up an envelope with your name on it. We've really given up on this whole winning thing, haven't we? Maybe I just want to get to know you better. Do I want Henrik to read my secret? It's up to you. I'm not fussed either way. Free reign, huh? He opens the envelope. Of course he does. A secret about me? I wonder if it would be about how I got payback on my best friend's ex. When Em heard her bestie's boyfriend was playing away, she swapped out his conditioner for hair removal cream. Hashtag woman scorned. Hashtag goodbye Goldilocks. Called it. Henrik touches a protective hand to his hair. He must have been a real D-bag. You could say that. He was obsessed with his hair too. It was even better than Henrik's before I intervened. Remind me to never come between you and, well, anything. I think Henrik's earned himself in mudding. You say that like it's a bad thing. Henrik heads straight up for the tank, climbs up and slides in. I'm going in. Want me to roll around in the dirt with you? Now that's what I mean by talk dirty to me. Come here, you. You clamber over to his side and join him in the mud. Slather me up, babes. I like that word. Slather. Slather. A phone buzzes. Priya looks at her phone, steps forward and picks up an envelope. This one's about... Jacob. Jacob grins at her, puffing his chest. She tears it open and reads aloud. Jacob once had to shave his head after he got a waxing strip stuck to it. Hashtag never again. Hashtag legs on eek. Jacob's cheeks burn a brilliant red. It happened a few years ago, right? I was trying hard to do my legs, but it was really hard to yank off. And somehow I smacked it onto my forehead. Got stuck in my hair and everything. Like the text said, I had to shave off my whole head. Jacob got a wax strip caught in his hair after a failed leg wax attempt. Next time use corn syrup. Corn syrup is bae. OMG, totally. Corn syrup is 100% absolutely what you need when you get wax strip caught in your hair. Well, you learn something new every day. How many times has this happened? Priya walks over to the mud tank, climbs the ladder and slides in. That was fun. It's been ages since I went down a slide. I have to go down to the local playground. I'm sure the dads won't complain. Jacob picks up an envelope. Chelsea. Read it out, read it out, read it out. Jacob hesitates. Yeah, no, I'm not getting thrown in there. All right, hand it over. Bobby grabs the envelope and tears it open with a flourish. Chelsea once signed off an email to an important customer with a smiley face. Only it was a big old A equals D. Hashtag BDE. Hashtag getting cocky. Chelsea covers her face with her hands and squeals. Did you get in trouble? Why would I? Well, surely you've damaged your reputation. Not at all. After all that, he just kept coming back for more work. So 
If anything, I think this makes me like a better interior designer. Oh my God, that could be like my brand. Everyone likes a smiley, especially a smiley with a nose. Marisol leans over to you and whispers. I don't think anyone's told her yet. Your turn in the mud now, Bobby. Bobby grins. He climbs the ladder and slides down. Several more rounds pass and more and more islanders going down the mudslide. You played the bassoon in a metal band? Metal covers band. We played swing. Bobby, you're literally from Scotland. How did you believe in the Loch Ness Monster until you were 13? All right, don't talk about her like she's not real. She'll get offended. I'm washing each other off. Some may say you're mudding me off. Scrub, scrub, scrub till the water's brown. Is that a don't hug me, I'm scared reference? Oh my God, I couldn't love Bobby more. I really couldn't. Only Lottie, Gary and Jacob show restraint, refusing to open any of their envelopes. They must really want to win. Eventually, the challenge comes to an end and the floor covered with torn envelopes. Lottie's phone buzzes. Guys, I've got a text. The islanders gather around to listen. Lottie and Gary, congratulations on winning today's challenge. Your prize is a night in the hideaway. Hashtag just the two of us. Hashtag away from it all. Hashtag one more chance to get dirty. Congrats, guys. That's some serious self-control. I even surprise myself sometimes. Do you think you'll like do bits? Well, obviously. You can't exactly go to the hideaway and not do bits. Especially with a guy like Gary. Oh, totally. The islanders start heading back to the villa. As you leave, you notice Chelsea picking up the unopened envelopes. Those must be the secrets we didn't read. I wonder what she's planning for them. We're sitting in the garden with the other islanders when Chelsea brings out her stack of collected secrets. Um, you look like you walked straight out of my fashionista insta search. I love it. What, with the mud included? Thanks, Chelsea. Who wants to see what these say? Isn't that against the rules of the challenge? The challenge is over, babes. It's secret time. I guess no one's gonna stop us. I want more secrets too. I have done this before, but let's have another look. Amazing. Here, this one has Henrik's name on. She passes you the envelope with Henrik written on it. You tear it open. Henrik once activated a clap on light using only the power of his digestive system. Hashtag clap on, clap off. Hashtag watch out ozone layer. Henrik looks over your shoulder and blushes. Oh, that. Care to explain? It was pretty funny. I was staying over at my mate's house, a whole bunch of us. He had this clap on light. You know, one of the ones that turn on when you clap your hands. I don't remember much, but apparently I farted in the middle of the night and the uh, sound of it switched on the lights. <laughs> oh my God. You're so funny. I love it. Ew, for a minute there, I was scared I'd blown it. Well, you did, Henrik, but that's what, you know, brought us closer together. Chelsea tears open an envelope, grins, and then runs over to Lottie, waving a secret in one hand. OMG, you are actually my hero. What did she do? Shaved off a guy's eyebrows. What can I say? I found his wedding ring. That's so fierce. Don't worry, I didn't leave him completely bare. Me and my Sharpie gave him a whole new pair of evil eyebrows. On fleek. OMG, I can't even. Chelsea grabs a whole bunch and starts tearing them open, reading the secrets to herself before throwing them aside. You take one of the ones she's discarded. This one's about Marisol. Marisol has a lot of responsibilities, not least running her 100k strong webpage, Duck of the Day. Hashtag cut her some quack. Hashtag mysterious mallard. What's Duck of the Day? Oh, it's just this page where we post pictures of ducks. Mostly mallards, but sometimes the odd swan. Maybe a moorhen. On Wednesdays, we do waterfowl. I join that. Ducks are hilarious. We get some really wild ones. I'll sign you up first thing when the summer's over. She looks like she's about to say something more when Chelsea gasps, staring down at another secret in her hands amid a scattering of torn, empty envelopes. OMG. I'm shook. Chelsea's eyes widen, flickering towards Noah. She presses her lips together and shakes her head. Mm -mm, nope, can't tell. Why not? Is it something to do with me and Noah? Rhea rolls her eyes. Hope doesn't seem to notice. Noah presses his fingers to his temples, shakes his head and groans. Give us a clue. Chelsea bites her lip. Oh, all right then. It's to do with somebody's ex-girlfriend. Babe, I can literally see Noah's name written on the side of the envelope. If it's about his ex-girlfriend, I want to know. I can't say no to my girls. It says that Noah had an ex called Priya for like three months. Priya raises an eyebrow in amusement. Hope crosses her arms and scowls at Noah. Can we not make this bigger than it is? Oh, this is big. We tell each other everything. Or we used to. Why did you hide this? Because it didn't feel like it was important to say. Who cares what my ex was called? It doesn't mean anything. Noah says it's not a big deal that his ex outside the villa is called Priya. It doesn't mean anything. Plenty of people are called Priya. Thanks, Em. But don't you think that's interesting, though? In that people tend to subconsciously go for partners who remind them of their ex. Precisely. Like, so many of my exes look the same. 
It's natural to be drawn to what's familiar. Not helping Marisol. Next, I'll find out they're identical twins. I never said anything to Hope about this morning. I'm gonna keep quiet. I still don't think it's right to bring it up. You clamp your mouth shut and watch the drama unfold. In my sort of like thoughts, it might be something that Noah was just having a bit of a wobble. He needs to get his head straight and then like he'll be fine. If he does go for Priya though, at least Hope will know. I never want to meet another Priya at this rate. Now that's just unfair. Why? I'm done with her trying to snake away in with you. Priya barks a laugh. He hasn't talked to you yet, has he? Talk to me about what? Priya, I want it out in the open. Noah said this morning he's thinking of picking me for the next recoupling. The colour drains from Hope's face. She turns to look at Noah. And when were you planning on telling me any of this? For the record, I never said I was going to choose her, just that I was thinking about it. I didn't want to mess up what we have over something I wasn't sure about. You're way beyond messing this up, babe. I'm done with this. Hope turns on her heel and starts striding back in the direction of the villa with Noah chasing her. Phew, for a moment I thought that was going to turn into a massive argument. You wouldn't have been wrong, Em. Oh, it's me! Guys, I got a text! What does it say? They've given me a warning for stealing those envelopes. It was against the rules, apparently. Lol, awkward! I'll have to be on my best behaviour from here on out. Coming up. No place is safe from the wrath of hope. Nobody ever fights in a bathroom. Operation Nope comes to a head. Have I made a big mistake? And the islanders receive an unexpected text. Oh my gosh, don't miss it. What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm so sorry for Chelsea because she did get a warning, but I feel like she kind of did deserve it as well. But I kind of feel like it was the right thing to do, you know? Otherwise that would never have come out into the open and, you know, the whole Noah, Priya, Hope thing would have just not been told because I wasn't going to say anything. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments as we move on to day 12, part three. Also, if you haven't already, please do give this video a like, subscribe to see more, and I will see you very shortly for part three. We're back and this part is called Nope, Nope and Nope. Noah and Hope find themselves on a rocky path after today's challenge. I can't imagine Noah and Hope not being together. Previously on Love Island, we found out that Noah has an ex called Priya who he dated for three months. Can we not make this bigger than it is? Sorry Noah, I didn't hear that over the sound of this massive drama. Which, by the way, kicked off in spectacular fashion when Priya blew the whistle on her private conversation with Noah. Noah said this morning he's thinking about picking me at the next recoupling. The guy can't catch a break. Tonight, the islanders take refuge as the unforecasted storm hope breaks over the villa. Oh my gosh. I figured I'd be out of their way here. And Henrik makes a proposal. You want to hide out in the bathroom with me? Absolutely I do. Now isn't that romantic? Yes, it is. Look, I'm not saying Em has prophetic powers. I've got this weird feeling something could happen tonight. Okay, she definitely has prophetic powers. I should make sure I'm looking my best tonight. What should I wear? I think it's time to break out. I was really hoping I was going to finish that with like the answer. Do you know what? It's time to go back to this. I like this one. This is okay, but I bet there's something nicer tucked away somewhere. Maybe if I move these clothes aside. I've probably said this before, but wow. You've got to let me borrow that one day. See, Marisol likes it. Thanks, Marisol. You look amazing no matter what you wear, hun. Oh, thanks, babes. I think I know what's going to happen. OMG, are you having a vision of the future? I'm talking about the hideaway. You know, because I won the challenge. Hope scowls down at her makeup palette, twisting a tube of highlighter between her fingers. She slams it on the table with a thud. Across the room, Priya pretends not to notice. Hope's been like this since the challenge. Looks like the drama's starting back up again. I wish everyone would just get along. I just want to enjoy my summer. Lottie goes to sit beside Hope. Wanna borrow some of my perfume? It's got hints of lilac and gooseberry. Really fancy. The colours have smells. Lilac is a flower, hun. Oh, so it's a bit like oranges, both a colour and a plant, I guess. You're so wise. They're silenced by a groan from Hope. She gets up and walks towards the door, leaving Lottie's perfume ignored on the side. Where are you going, hun? To talk to Noah? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. You look like you're gonna burn half the villa. Hope hesitates, looking around the room. Her eyes fall on Priya. Sorry, girls, I've got things that need attending to. She leaves the room. Why do I feel like this is gonna kick off? See what I told you? Prophetic powers. Oh my gosh, we can choose who to speak to. Is it Hemrick or Priya? I'm going to start with Hemrick. You're walking past the bathroom and the door opens, revealing Hemrick standing in the doorway. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that outfit, Em. That's so sweet, Hemrick. I didn't realise you were in here. I guess you girls didn't see what happened after she left the dressing room. Huh? They've been having a massive argument. It's painful. I'm just trying to wait it out. 
In the bathroom? Genius, isn't it? Nobody ever fights in a bathroom. I've had an argument in a bathroom. You never put the seat down. Why are you... Why are there long straight hairs in the shower that look like they've been arranged into shapes? That's a thing. It's a thing. A flicker of concern crosses Henrik's face, but he quickly composes himself. I don't think Hope and Noah would be the type. So I reckon we've got some privacy. Privacy? Nobody's coming. There's no one to interrupt. You want to hide out in the bathroom with me? Not every day someone asks you to hang out in the bathroom. And from the look he's given me, I don't think we'll be comparing loofers. Yeah, I'm up for it. I've already paid for the gem option, so I'm definitely doing it. You better get in here then. Steamy. He closes the door behind you and catches your eye. It feels so strange to be alone with him suddenly. I don't think my heart would be beating this fast if it happened on the outside. He smiles. What? I don't know. You're looking at me funny. I'm... I'm... I'm turned on. Like, really horny. Oh my gosh, I wasn't gonna say that. Henrik blushes, but says nothing. What, can't a girl tell a guy when she has the horn? It's not that. I just... I guess I wasn't expecting you to be so blunt about it. He presses his body against yours. The wall towers are cold against your back as he kisses up your neck. Oh, Henrik. Oh, I might go all the way. I, I, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. He works his way up towards your mouth and kisses you passionately. Hoisting your legs around his waist. Poor Lucas, poor Lucas. Get Lucas out of my head right now. Think about Henrik. Only Henrik. He whispers in your ear. Ever tried it in the shower? What are we waiting for? He kisses you as you both strip off your clothes, leaving them in a crumpled pile on the bathroom floor. Naked, he carries you over to the shower and sets you down. Wait, hang on. Forgot to grab a condom? Well, go and get one. He hustles out of the shower and comes back a moment later holding one. He pulls you close and kisses you. You're both pulling on your clothes when you hear voices outside. We did go all the way, friends. Sounds like shouting. Is that Hope and Noah? You catch Henrik's eye just as the handle starts to turn. Shower, go. Both of you dash into the shower and close the door, cowering in the corner as you peep through the glass. It's foggy with condensation. Hopefully they'll just assume someone took a shower. The door opens. Noah storms in and runs a tap, Hope trailing at his heels. You think I'm gonna just step aside and watch you crack on with someone else like it's nothing? Evidently not. Well, you're damn right I'm not. I'm gonna stay and fight for us and honestly, shame on you if you won't too. Henrik sneaks you a glance. He leans in and starts kissing your shoulder. Let's be cheeky. <laughs> the shouting match fades away in your mind as you find Henrik's mouth and kiss him. Finally, Henrik nudges you. I think they've gone. Let's get out before they come back. The two of you climb out of the shower. Today I learned, people definitely do argue in bathrooms. Oh my goodness, that was exciting. I want to spend more time with Henrik. Where is our aftercare? I want cuddles. We're going to speak to Priya. Priya shuts the cupboard as you approach, a guilty look on her face. Oh, I'm hoping something I'm craving will just magically appear if I close it and open it again. Why do we all do that? But that's got to be my seventh try. No such luck. Well, there's got to be something in there. There's loads to choose from. There's like five different flavors of crisps there. I'm feeling something particular though. Salt and vinegar crisps. You think we'd have those, right? Priya sighs and slumps onto a stool. I figured I'd be out of their way here. You mean Hope and Noah? Priya nods. Listen, you both turn quiet and strain to hear. It's not totally clear, but you think you can hear people shouting. It's still going then. I think it is probably best to give them their space. They need to sort this out between them. I think if you were there, it would just escalate things even more without actually solving anything. Yeah, that's the way I've been thinking about it. No doubt it will come back to me at some point before today is over, but I'm not going to make that sooner than it needs to be. I don't blame you, I doubt it would be much fun. There's a pause as Priya peels the label from an apple and sticks it to her hand. Can I chat with you about something? What is it? I went for Noah because I thought he was the one I wanted to be with and I was true to myself about my intentions and my emotions. I feel like you gotta do that in here or there's no point. We're here to find love so you've got to go after the person you like, right? It was either crack on with Noah or stick with Ibrahim, which, if I'm honest, oh, it's just not really going anywhere. I think he knows it too. That's why he's been keeping a low profile tonight. And I realise there's an argument to say it, that I've kind of got what I want potentially. But now we're out here and they're inside arguing and miserable. And it just has me wondering, have I made a big mistake? You should always follow your heart. You are not other people. You are yourself and that's the only person you've got to look out for. And if Noah leaves hope because of that, well, that's his problem. You aren't responsible You aren't responsible for what others decide to do. That's what I was telling myself at the start of all this. But now I don't know if getting what I want would even make me that happy. Like, what if I felt too guilty to enjoy it? I think there was a point where I just felt like nobody trusted me. So what did I have to lose by going after what I wanted? But instead of doubling down, maybe instead I could have worked harder to turn things around. She rolls the apple beneath her palm, then picks it up to examine it. 
Hope was going to want to talk to me later to try and get me to back off from Noah. But I don't even know how I feel yet. Like, do I go with my heart and tell her I won't back down? Or do I agree to drop it and just apologize? I think you should... I think Noah likes you. You can't give up now. I know that feels really snaky because of Hope and not wanting to get in between them. And I still don't want to get in between them. But I do think that... If Noah likes Priya, he'll go for Priya. If he likes Hope, he'll stay with Hope. I think we're not putting enough pressure on Noah to make the decision that he wants to make. I think having the situation in Love Island is different to having the situation in the real world. And I also think that Noah and Hope as a couple, well, they're not official yet. If they were boyfriend and girlfriend, it would be completely different. And I would say, absolutely, you back off Priya, but they're not. Is that bad? Noah's literally said he's thinking about coupling up with you. There's no point giving that up after you burn so many bridges trying to get it. Worst case scenario, you give up nowhere, but all those bridges are still burning. Then what happens? You'll have nothing. You're absolutely right. I can't afford to apologize. Before she's finished speaking, the villa door swings open. Hope starts storming over, nowhere trailing behind her. Right on schedule. She ducks down to put the apple away inside a cupboard. There you are. She resurfaces with a packet of salt and vinegar crisps just as Hope arrives. We need to talk. This is still between us, Hope. Priya doesn't need to be involved. I think Priya's been involved for a while now, babe. This could get ugly. Best I make myself scarce for now. I wonder if Priya will take my advice. Hope calls after you as you make your way across the lawn. Em! There go my plans for a peaceful end to the afternoon. You turn around as Hope, Noah and Priya are catching up to you. I think we need you to be involved in this conversation. Why? What do I have to do with any of this? You've been giving Priya advice, haven't you? Priya rolls her eyes. That doesn't mean Em is suddenly responsible for my decisions. I'm just asking Em for a chat. Seems like I'm getting dragged into this argument whether I like it or not. I agreed to help Marisol and Bobby restore peace to the villa. This could well be the final hurdle. I should... I'm going to take control of the situation. You know what? Great idea. This has gone on way too long. So before we start, let's get one thing straight, okay? Noah needs to decide what he wants. Noah looks up at you with a look of alarm. As if he could just stand there and just let us argue it out. All of this is happening because no one's sure where they stand. If you want to be with Hope, you need to make that clear and not just to her. But the same goes the other way. If you don't want to be with Hope, you need to be up front and tell her that. I would if I even knew what I wanted. This is all just really confusing, okay? I tried to commit to Hope and I tried to make it clear to everyone else. The fact that Priya wouldn't give up isn't my fault, but obviously if you push someone enough, they're gonna have doubts. So you're not taking any responsibility at all. No, I didn't cause this. I fully agree with Noah. If you push someone enough, they will start to have doubts. It's happened to me before. Someone's been so adamant that I'm doing something that I think maybe I am doing that. But also you have to take responsibility. You can't just not take responsibility. You still made that decision. You still had those doubts. You're still thinking about whether or not you want to be with Priya. And that's fine. That's totally okay. But I don't think he's going about it the right way. No, I didn't cause this. And I refuse to make a decision I'm not ready to make just because you girls are insist upon it. Tears roll down Hope's face. The fact that there's a decision to make at all tells me all I need to know, to be honest. Hope sniffs and turns her head away. This is your fault, Priya. None of this would have happened if you hadn't messed with his head. Think what you want. I shouldn't have to pretend or hide how I feel. This is Love Island. I didn't come on here to watch the guy I like walk off into the sunset with someone else. It's obvious Noah and I would be a better couple anyway. So I'm gonna fight for that to happen. Hope sighs. You know, I was actually prepared to make friends with you again. On the grounds that you left my relationship alone. Noah crosses his arms and looks away, clearly uncomfortable. You don't see it, do you? Your relationship is falling apart on its own, babe. I didn't have to do a thing. We'd have been fine without you interfering. Keep telling yourself that. Hope flicks her hair aside and scowls. Noah glances back towards the villa wistfully. Noah looks like he'd rather be anywhere else than with these two. I'm not really a natural at this whole peacemaking thing, but I couldn't exactly lie about my opinion. Suddenly, someone screams. What was that? Is someone hurt? No, I think that's just Chelsea. OMG, you guys, Jacob got a text. I thought he was supposed to say that. You gather around the other islanders as Chelsea prizes Jacob's phone from his hands. Is everyone here to listen? Wait, where's Lottie? Oh, she's gone to the hideaway with Gary. Already? Well, one of you had better run and tell them before they get too cozy, because what I'm about to say changes everything. Like everything, everything. Get a load of this. Islanders, tomorrow there'll be a recoupling the boys will be choosing. Hashtag pick wisely, hashtag shake it up. Oh my gosh. Coming up on Love Island, the recoupling is an absolute disaster. Don't miss it. Having a recoupling now actually puts me in a bit of a tailspin because if Noah and Hope don't continue to, like, if Noah doesn't pick Hope 
and Noah picks Priya. That leaves Ibrahim free. Is Ibrahim going to pick Hope? Probably not. I just don't want this to go the wrong way. And if Ibrahim goes first and he knows Priya's thinking something else, or like going a different way, I don't think Jacob's going to pick us because Jacob and I, we haven't really seen eye to eye. Actually, I don't even think we've had one conversation, but correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thank you so much for watching day 12. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notifications to find out more whenever I'm going to post a video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.